Hello. Hey. Hi. So, um, uh, is everyone in? We're just waiting. Pam, let me put, find a seat. Yeah, I was in a seat. <laughs> you just hit the space bar and then just jump to a seat. Yeah, I did that. Find, find a seat that's free. <laughs> hit space bar. Yeah, I did that though, but it's not jumping me. No, you don't, that doesn't jump you. That, there you go. Then you have to click on it. Am there I you in? go. <laughs> There okay, so we're here. We are. We're all. Um, um, I hope we're all sitting down. Hopefully, looks like it. Um, and we are basically we are. Yeah, we're 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 Jedi's in the Notopia Jedi Temple. Um, uh, that, um, that yeah, that sort of that we've created, and we are going to think about a particular. Okay, someone's just picked up the portal by mistake. So I can see it flying around over there. <laughs> we're going to need that to get back again. <laughs> All right, well, I'll leave it for now. Okay, so um, so Kath is going to um, be the, the note taker for this one. Where is Kath? Where is Kath? Where is Kath? Hey, where's Kath? Oh, there you are, Kath. So, so if Kath, if you can head up into the sky, up to yeah. the, the board. Um, there you are. Um, and um, uh, then Kath will take notes. So we're this is this this is um this context that we're now thinking about um isn't one of the ones for your coursework obviously that would give mean that everyone would end up doing that one probably um but it is one that has various similarities with particular ones so imagine that you were looking to consider issues of fidelity and validity for a motorbike simulator that would be assessing rider comfort okay so it's a you know a, a um, uh, it's you know, for a particular company, and they're developing you know, you know particular motorbikes. They want to understand uh, the, you know, the human factors, ergonomics issues of, of comfort. Um, let's have a think about issues of fidelity and validity here. So I'm hoping you, as the wise Jedi's, will be um, uh, be talking here as, um, to, to 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 help us to get some points that Kath will then put up on the board um, up on the top there. So the first thing is, okay, what, how important is visual fidelity here? Okay, for a motorbike simulator. Okay, what, what do we think? How important is it that, about the, 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 what it looks like? What are the characteristics of visual fidelity? Yep. It should be like uh, more real realistic mm -hmm. as possible because we have to like deal with the traffics and uh, so that is why the main simulator is going to be about uh, so you definitely like traffic, need... yeah the traffics uh, signals and other vehicles and the public if it's going to be a uh, uh, about the people and the fig, fig, uh, platform mm -hmm. walking then it should also be taken into consideration I think uh, yeah 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 so 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 the the visual fidelity is definitely going to be important because because so much of riding a motorbike is is about seeing things so so you need to have you know visuals there um it, it it's just how much visuals and how how important might it be because because it's it's particularly about rider comfort so you want to think about all the things that would be of relevance to rider comfort, um, so in particular. Mean, so, Gary, does that mean to you then, like them actually wearing a helmet and the limitation that the helmet might bring to the visual display? Yeah, 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 yeah. So wearing a helmet becomes really quite important. So you want so that then will influence the visual, the visuals, won't it? Yeah. Um, and it's important that they have that because particularly because wearing a helmet is is key to issues of comfort um so so you would want them to be wearing a wearing a wearing a helmet and um to to be thinking to to to, to have that that in some ways is part of touch fidelity it's like the feel of the helmet um it will be part of the, the the overall experience um so um so the visuals will be important but maybe not quite as important as they might be for a for a motorbike simulator that was focused on safety 
it was focused on you know sort of issues of you know sort of driving a rider performance and distraction maybe then um, visual quality would be more important and i think it's more the sorts of aspects of fidelity that become going to become particularly important here are going to be issues to do with the touch points you know, the we're things that, got these 15 notes. So they should be able to go into to, to frames on the on the board behind you. Are there frames there? Behind um, you on the Utopia board. Oh, where it says Notopia. Yeah, yeah. Are there frames there? Um yeah, maybe. Uh yeah. <laughs> it's all right. I'm just in a lecture, sorry. Sorry, what was that? Oh, nothing, sorry, my, my flatmate just knocked on my door. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, now the context of your real world is <laughs> sort of going on. So, um, so let's have a think about aspects of, of, of motion here and feeling forces and movement. How, how important are those to rider comfort? I think maybe the body position that they're actually sitting in, because that doesn't mm -hmm. replicate how they're actually on the bike. So if they were sat on a nice comfy chair leaning backwards, it doesn't represent the feeling then that they would be when they're leaning forward the handlebars um, yeah, yeah, yeah. and their position of movement and balance then. So it's that seating position when they're in the simulator, which might be key too, for kinesthetic feedback. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so there's the, the the so that means that the the actual characteristics of the of of the the bike that they're sitting on um, uh, becomes important, doesn't it? Um, uh, to to in terms of all the sort of the the joint angles and everything. Um, but another one that's quite interesting in this area is 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 things like wind loading. So. If if you in a in a you know on a real bike, you're going to have forces as you ride around um, uh, impacting on you that 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 from from the wind, um, the influence the, the 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 how much um, muscle loading you might have from um, in your back and you know in your sort of in your um, in your core and stuff like that. So the the so you might be, have to think about. Things like having a fan, for instance, um, uh, to, to 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 you know to 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 change, to to yeah to sort of to to influence the what well, the, the 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 full range of forces that might act on the human body because it's quite different to sitting in a car, where you don't feel all that wind loading from within the, within the car, unless you're in an open top car. But anyway, the um, but the 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 point is there. That, yeah, right. The 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 the, the, the Motion actually is really important for, for issues of rider comfort. Um, the um, the oh, um, so yeah. Do, do, do we? What sort of things do you think you might measure from a from a motorbike simulator that relate to drive rider comfort? Hey Gary. Hi. Where is that coming from? Uh, is that Chloe. Over here. Yeah. Hey, hi Chloe. Um, I think you'll probably get them to rate pain or discomfort on certain levels of their body parts. So it could yeah. be, uh, yeah, back, shoulder, knee, and then, uh, over a period of time. So let's say like five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, half an hour, one hour. Uh, having them rate on that scale to see if certain parts hurt more, and then adjust it from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So body, body, it's, it's this body part discomfort scale is um, uh, it would be a classic sort of subjective um, uh, way of considering rider comfort, wouldn't it? Um, based on uh, some sort of uh, sort of experience, it's probably going to be over a reasonable amount of time. Um, but um, the the yeah, the the what? How objectively do you think you might assess rider comfort? What might you potentially observe? Any thoughts could, on that? Um, mm -hmm. We could observe how many times they they change position or they adjust. Um, 
their positioning based yeah, on... Yeah, 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 that sounds good, yeah. Which would give them an indication that they're uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, so sort of, sort of yeah, that sort of um, uh, posture changes could be quite an important sort of measure to in terms of coding of videos and stuff like that. Um, another one might be things like objectively, you could look at joint angles, couldn't you? Um, uh, and um, and that that you know how yeah the, 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 that could relate um, to potential issues of so you might want to correlate the objective measures with the with the subjective measures. Um, okay, could you use the biomarker then to actually um, see how much adjustment has been made to the position to get those joint angles on from putting biomarkers on the riser? Yeah, yeah, you could do yeah. Yeah, there's various things you could do. You know, another one might be you, you might put EMG sensors on to look at how much sort of how much act, electrical activity there is in particular muscle groups of interest. So, so these are all things that you might do, but you they're, they're all part of the, the the whole simulation thing. But they need um, um, yeah they 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 they're, they're additional bits of equipment that, that they're needed um, uh, with the simulator as well as well. So I think um, you know you 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 want the simulator to provide the experience to allow you to then collect the the the, the data that's going to be relevant to rider comfort, um, and I think just to just just sort of sum up related to these different things in here, you're going to find that the 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 motion related stuff is probably most important. As well as uh, you know, he's saying having the, the the right sort of bike to get the right sort of angles, um, and and visual fidelity isn't necessarily going to be as important as it might be in other situations. Um, and um, yeah, we haven't really got into issues of um, validity here, but but um, it's it's going. You know, there'll be an area. Yeah, they're, they're all going to be relevant relevant in, to some degree, I think, in here. Um, has anyone got any questions at all? Sort of, you know, yeah, Gary, I've got a question. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Molly. Um, Hi. I'm not quite sure I understand um, psychological fidelity. Do you mind just like in this context, what would that be? Yeah, so this is really going to be about um, uh, about whether or not you're representing. So, so are you bringing in the right sorts of people, and the right sort of expectations for for your um, for your setup? Um, so, because that will influence their their expectations, so you've got the right expectations about um, uh, what. So, for instance, if you you, you know you you're interested, in, I know, in sports motorbikes, but you only bring in people who are used to to a different type of motorbike, then the psychological fidelity would be would be lower there, just because of the types of people that are involved. Um, and it could be related to the tasks themselves. So, you, so you, you know, you're not addressing the right type of tasks, um, or the, the simulator doesn't allow you to look at the right type of tasks. So, I think um, um, it's really a lot of it is more is is about the the perception of the simulator. I think um, in terms of fidelity, as I said before, this then ends up becoming quite similar to face validity. Um, because then the face validity is more is is you know does it seem is it believable to you? Um, so so you know these concepts are quite sort of closely aligned really. Um, the, um, the the yeah I think um, you know one 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 that comes up quite often here is things like the controls. Do the controls sort of map in the right way? So in, uh, for for what for what you're looking at. So, so in a motorbike, if you started having a, the something not work in the way that you expect it to, then that's going to cause problems. Does that help? Yeah, that helps. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, because because the because the other ones are more things that you can sort of just measure with more obviously with numbers. Right, I'm conscious of um, uh, with with like, yeah. Let's, uh, are you sort of steering them in here, or are they? Okay. I'll make it handy so I don't have to go backwards. Yeah, so I can I could set up. I mean, it would make more sense to just stay here, I think. Yeah, yeah. Hi, has Chloe got a hand up? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Gary, just a quick question. Um, yeah, yeah. Will we be concerned with factors like learnability of the simulator that would make it 
kind of some writers who have wrote on a system that's a bit more similar to the simulator would adjust better. And then that's going to be a confounding uh, factor for us. Um, yeah, may, maybe that's obviously more sort of tied in with usability as well, isn't it? Um, it, 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 it's, it's, it's a possibility. Yeah, it's a possibility because then, because that, that would relate to aspects of psychological fidelity and that it's, it's, it's distant from what you, from your previous experiences. So, so this is, the, the, this is then the stimulator is not appropriate in fidelity for, for what, what, um, what is needed. Um, which will, you know, which will then impact on, you know, other aspects of validity. Thanks. Okay. I have okay. one more question if I could just ask really quickly. Um, for if we're looking at just the rider comfort specifically to the bike itself, would we let the participants bring in their own helmet and let's say their own jacket? And yeah, would so that affect? Yeah, you yeah. could do that. And you could then say that that improves fidelity because it's um, it's closer to their to their to their real world experiences. So 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 yeah, you could you could you could do that. And obviously, you know, if you wanted to link it, you could have a situation where 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 different bikes come in. Certainly seen that in car cars where you where you know you you bring in the the specific car that you want to to, to use uh, that you're considering rather than uh, trying to have a generic car. So these will okay. all impact on fidelity as well. Okay. Thank you. Right, no problems. Right. Thanks everyone. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed being a Jedi. <laughs> so so, so um, uh, see you all soon. Thanks, Gary. Thanks. Yeah, bye.